Straight from the Connex Axiom looking to prove that it's mind over matter in this one. Michael, you have to love the message that Axiom spreads to the WWE Universe. He wants everyone to know that through intellect, you can overcome almost any obstacle. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to argue with Axiom's message when we've seen what he's already been able to accomplish. And Rick Penny predicament, and that was only a one. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Great counter by Ricochet. Wow, look at that agility. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. He's been placed in the corner now. Satellite DDT. He takes control. Super kick finds the mark. Corey, it has to be hard for Axiom to take on opponents when most of them have a size and strength advantage. It ain't easy, Cole, but it's not impossible. Axiom possesses an incredible calculating mind that he uses in every attack. That means there's no wasted energy when Axiom starts rolling, and that's hard for anyone to overcome, no matter how big they are. Smash in their face. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Lift off, spectacular diving Hurricane Rana. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. He tried to make quick work of things and almost succeeded. Gets the knees up, incredible wherewithal. Athletic dodge from Ricochet. And some effective offense with that one. Axiom at the mercy of his opponent. An impressive assault from Ricochet. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Goodness. Somersault reverse DDT. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. A surprisingly deep count for this stage of the match. And finds a counter. And Axiom got turned around there. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Oh, my God. A moonsault. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. I understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Axiom stepping up. Seems more like he's st Ooh. Axiom reverses. Oh, what a German suplex. Cover! And he only stays down for a one count. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Kick to the gut creates separation. Great reversal. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Ricochet's been grounded, and now Ricochet may tap. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. What a pump kick. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. Oh, man. Well, check this out. What athleticism! Forget about changing your game when Ricochet has off. And Coyle! Nailed it! And that can vanquish Axiom. Uh-oh! Shooting star press! Ricochet making a statement. Two count! Somehow he kicked out. Can you imagine how escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. And Ricochet pulled out all the stops there, but it didn't get the job done. Ricochet needs to keep his composure, though, after that, and just keep going. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is... I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago. Back in it now. Action! the golden ratio. Ricochet fell that one big time. Cover! Two! Wow, just barely making it out. Ricochet
Ricochet living to fight another day. Amazing. Well, Axiom ready to go. And he sets up and hits the golden ratio. Axiom might have him. Is it enough? The cover! There's two! Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Axiom! This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. When it comes to in-ring competitors, Giovanni Vinci is just about as polished and intimidating as they come. He's an impeccable physical specimen with a very serious attitude. The only thing more impressive than Vinci's raw power is how deftly he controls it. He lands hammering blows with expert precision. He's not someone to be taken lightly between the ropes. Yeah, a well-rounded competitor who has all the physical ability you could ask for and the callous will to put it to devastating use. And he's got Jay Uso to deal with, who really hasn't been the same since Roman Reigns beat the humanity out of him. No, he's been better. Jay walks different. He talks different. He's more aggressive. He even carries himself like a main eventer, which is what he is. Main event, Jay Uso. Oh. Gut wrench suplex. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. Somehow Jay's got to turn the momentum around. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can he take advantage? When taking on Jey Uso, you have the constant looming threat of his devastating super kick. How do you strategize around that attack as Jay's opponent? Well, I've taken a few of those, so I know you can take the super kick out of the equation entirely by attacking Jay's legs. Well-targeted offense on Jay's lower half will make it difficult for him to land that attack in full force. If you can't do that, then I hope you're really good at dodging kicks. Two just kicks out. The end was in sight. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Oh, an overhand shot makes the cover. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? That's still a quick kick out at this point. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Slips out of the way. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Now trampling the opposition. Stumps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Ooh. As the wrist trapped. Oh. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Elbow drop. An impressive sequence from Jay. Yeah, Oos is firing on all cylinders. Some good contact by Jay Uso. On point. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Using his body as a weapon. This could be big. Going up high. Ooh. Diving hammer strike. Stomp in the leg. This match is brutality starting to show on him. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Like the thing about picking up the pace a bit. Off into the pin. Two count just gets the shoulder up. He's determined to keep this matchup going. All right. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. And Jay is being picked to pieces here. Yeah, but Uso's just one move from turning this around. Neck breaker. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Vinci. Spinning sit-out powerbomb. Jay is down and out. 
Wait, now why? Byron, what's the sense in this decision? I don't have an answer, Michael. If you can put him away, you should put him away. Oh, oh my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. This is Vinci looking at his best. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Jay needed. Yeah, Uso able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Trying to put this thing away. Shoulders down, roll oh, up. Boy. Oh, and he got it. Oh, no, and a kick out at two. Put into place. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh! Now a series of vicious stops in the turnbuckle. Stops. Oh! Does he have him here? No, he gets the shoulder up. How in the world? Did he kick out? Oh! Oh, and a reversal. He's got him getting ready. Suplex. Look at Jey Uso going top rope. He saw it coming. Jay out of there in a hurry. He'll take things into the ring. Oh! As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. They're slamming their face down. If this lands, it might be all over. Get Valley Driver by Vinci. Vinci stamping an end to this. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner, Giovanni Vinci. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. What's that they always say, Byron? Down since day one-ish. But tonight, Jey Uso's just down with something to prove here tonight. Even though it's a non-title match, this could be a huge turning point in their career. For better or worse, Byron, we'll see if they have what it takes. But let's stop messing around and turn our attention to L.A. Knight, a man who likes to have a little fun inside the ring and who lives the good life outside of it. When L.A. Knight steps through the ropes, it's showtime. He's flashy, I'll give him that. But what really impresses me about Knight is how he gets down to business when the bell rings. He shows off, and he shows up. With the counter! Brilliant countering by both competitors. Oh, man. One step ahead of Knight there. Counter after counter. Oh, no. Stop right to the belly. And Knight's firmly in command. Knight has his opponent figured out. He's absorbed some damage already. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. We often talk about the smash mouth style of LA Knight, but his athleticism sometimes gets overlooked. Corey, which aspect of his entering game? Penny predicament. There's two! That count was a bit too close for comfort. L.A. Knight kick to the cut, B.F.T. Knight about to end this fight. We've seen the conflicts between them, and it seems like they're not ready to bury the hatchet yet. Yeah, Cole, I don't think this one's going to be settled with polite words. Knight thinking high risk. Sky high. Delivers the knee drop. Looking for the victory. Two count. A kick out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Great reversal. Quick strike to the lower body. And a reversal by L.A. Knight. And that one misses the mark. With the Lariat, Knight has become relentless. And there's that in-your-face smash mouth style of L.A. Knight shining through. Bruising attack to the stomach.
He could be turning his fortunes around. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Answering back. Sanched in. Snapmare driver. Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. Two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. And he is incredulous after the kick out. Almost lost to his own move. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. LA Knight got shown up that time with a stiff attack. Kick gets caught. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra put. Here we go. No. Nope. Fake me out again. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Down. Brutal. Oh, man. Stomping. Ouch. And he gets set back into the ring. And he saw that coming from Knight. Uh-oh. Oh, countering with a chop block will halter any attack. Knee right to the gut. He reverses it. Oof. Stalking their opponent. What are they going to do here? Oh, knee right to the face. BFT. Classic LA Knight putting on a show with a flashy and impactful attack. LA Knight. LA Knight with the BFT. Knight stamping an end to. Uh, referee was about to help the winner celebrate. They wouldn't have none of that. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs>